the days of um, complaining about there being no wind, uh, they're over, uh, along with a big flashing message saying, be careful what you wish for. Um, the first really, really big pressure system is sneaking up behind me. This is the forecast for 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, there's a centre of a low pressure there and we just advance it on a little bit. So you can see here there's 40 knots of wind forecast there. Uh, now we can add easily 10 knots onto that. Um, so potentially 50 knots there. You can see that rolling away underneath me. It's a really significant area with 40 knots in it there. What that means for me is there's a good opportunity some, to make some miles to the east because you know good breeze pushing me in that direction but I need to be very careful about where I place myself in relation to this the centre of this low here. If I go too far south then I'm going to be in conditions that will be um, potentially damaging for the boat and I won't sail any faster I'll just have bigger breeze and bigger seas to contend with so at the moment I'm sort of lining myself up to try and get just the right amount of wind to make me go fast but not so much wind that I'm putting the boat at risk. My primary role today is going to be just going through all of this and making sure that there's no damage, nothing amiss. We're ready for that big breeze that's catching me up. And I've got a couple of jibes to do as well because ideally I just want to be a little bit further south um, so two sort of fairly quick jibes. Uh, I've already found one potential problem. Um, the tack line got itself hooked under a four day fitting last night. Um, so I'm going to have to um, swap tack lines over and do a really good check of my primary tack line to make sure there's no damage from that and equally the four day fitting. Um, then everything else, I've got a little checklist going and I'll just slowly work through making sure that we are ship shape and Bristol fashion for a big Southern Ocean kicking. Obviously all the stuff outside, all of the checking for chafe and making sure there's no damage from the last big breeze that needs to be done but also I need to make sure that everything is going to be um, at its best for living on board so the onboard systems need to be in the best possible condition and at the moment I'm just uh, sorting that out by charging batteries and topping up my water so let's just check in with the batteries. You can see I'm on 69% and I'm aiming to be on 90 by the end of today. So I'm charging currently with the hydros which are putting in about 16 amps and the solars are putting in 6 amps. Now I'm also making water at the moment. So you can see my water tank is about half full. Just look in here. There, you can see that excruciating little stream of water there. That is filling my tank up. Uh, and that should be full in about just over an hour. Uh, and at that point, I turn the water maker off and the batteries will start charging a little bit faster. Then, of course, finally, uh, I've got to look after me, which is something I keep forgetting to do. <laughs> Um, so I had some good sleep last night, which is amazing, but I need to just try and get my head down again today and, and build on that so that it's not just sort of up and down and up and down. I need to be a good girl today and eat all of my food, which I'm doing 
badly out so far because all I've heard is my uh, one of my long range fuel pouches. So I'm about to, uh, well the jet boil is actually going, uh, I'm about to have some, um, some porridge and uh, my morning drink and then in here I am just drying out all of my kits ready for the next onslaught. It's a bit of a Chinese laundry here. It's all going on. So I'll have uh, it'll be a dry suit today, I think, next time, but it's all drying in there. And not that it's particularly challenging for me, but just good to be in a good mood as well. Helps the work happen. Um, so <laughs> going at the moment, which was actually a present from the DJ at the Vog Bar, who uh, gave me a whole USB stick with some awesome playlists on it. So, Mercy Bakula Vog Bar. I think we're going to be ready.